that, please. Come on, Chica. We have more important things to talk about. Okay? But, Dad, I really need to be there. Please. When you get to the office, check your email. I've sent you a document to go through. Okay? Look, Chica. I have better plans for you. Like sending you to the US for your masters under my supervision though. Dad, are you saying you'll go with me to the US for my masters? Well, I wouldn't mind that. I mean, you are the only one I have. Abby, it's hard luck. Just what I was expecting. Look, I'm really sorry I can't go with you guys, but trust me, I really wanted to hang out. It's been a while. Look, Chika, you would have to bring from the shackles of your father sooner or later. Abby, what can I do? I'm all he has. Really? The truth is understand you perfectly well. We are no longer 15 anymore. You'll be turning 25 very soon. I know. Um, I'll speak to you later, girl. I just wanted to tell you the bad news. All right, Rick. Take care. All right. I really wish I could go. This food looks delicious. Dad. I'm sure you enjoy yourself. Ah! Don't try to patronize me. You know what you're doing, Dad. You know. Well, if it's about uh, not allowing you to go out on a date with any man. Um, I have a plan. What plan? His name is Sam. He's from a well-respected home. He studied in Glasgow, Scotland. You know, and um, his father is one of my top-notch investors, Chief Osai. I will hook you up with him. That I am not interested. Yeah, it's true that I've never had a boyfriend, all thanks to you. But that still doesn't mean you should hook me up with some guy that I do not know. Look, Dad. You've been monitoring my life from secondary school to university days. Dad, please now. Can you just let me be, please? Ah, come on. Can't you see that it worked out fine? I mean, today, you are a first class graduate. Hmm? It helped. No. It didn't help. I came out with first class because I wanted to. I could have as well chosen to go astray. I was in school, Dad. Look, at least now you know me. You know your daughter is a cool girl. No stress. Can you please stop? Just let me live my life. Let me explore. It's my age. Let me choose a man I want for myself. Trust me, I will bring home a responsible man. I'm not going to hook up with some random dude, Dad. Please. Chica, Sam is a good boy. Okay? I can understand if you don't fall in love with him immediately. But, I mean, just start something with him. Okay? Dad. See, Chica. That boy lives very close to us. And that gives me the opportunity of also watching over you. Dad, don't you understand all that I have been saying? You don't? Come on, Chica. I am not asking. 
I am insisting. Is that understood? Dave. Hey. Hi, how you doing? Oh shit, it's sorry. Right, it's fine. What are you working on this time? Oh, it's a research. No. Actually, it's an investigation about a man who killed his elder brother. Killed? Yeah, like um, killed. You and these weird stories. Okay. Mm. Another one. Yeah. Wait till mom finds out. Hey, it's not like I'm hurting anyone, am I? Hmm. It's a bone went for video, so. Oh. So that's why you want to turn our house into a brothel. Eh? Speak, speak less man. I hope you have a Get out. So you're still doing this? Hmm? You're still bringing different girls to my house? So tell me, what was that? Temini, you should stop flirting with any girl you see. Aside the fact that what you're doing is very bad, you're also getting yourself unequally yoked. Um, mother, mother, look, mother, look, it's fine. I'll, I'll find a wife soon. Okay, go ahead. Good. That is what I want to hear from you. You should find yourself a woman that will give you comfort, a woman that will give you peace, a woman. I will support you and you both will build a home together. Remember the Bible says that he who findeth a wife findeth a good thing and obtaineth favor from God. Mother, I will find a wife soon. Mother, by the way, how was the video? Yes, how was it? When the both of you have refused to follow me to the house of God, what do you expect? Huh? Uh, mother. Well, I prayed for you both. Thank That's you, mother. Thank you, mother. Thank you, mother. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Ah, this children. <sighs> yes, um, Janet. Go to the shop right now. Hmm? Some women are coming there for rentals. I'm not joking. I'm coming, girl. For real, you'll see me this time. <laughs> All right, see you soon. Yeah. <laughs> Door locked. Your dad locked it. He said you should not go out until he's back. Say what? 
Your dad locked the door. I assume the back door is open, right? It's also locked. Not again! What sort of nonsense is this? Dad! Dad! Why would you lock me in again? Hey, look, you need to see her. Hmm. May, she's damn pretty. Whoa! <laughs> really? Oh my god, I met her on wine chat. You need to see her poise. Damn, that figure. Oh my goodness, <laughs> babe. Her smile, priceless. Priceless. Whoa! Do I look good? Yeah. Check me out. Do you look good? Uh, but you know, say the moment you drop this one now, you go move on to the next. Hey, sis, I'm serious here now. I'm serious. Mm. I hope this is your last bus stop. Oh, yeah, well, hey, man, we gotta do what you gotta do. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I have to go. Yeah. You know, a gentleman doesn't keep a lady waiting. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Alright, I'll call you. Bye. I'll call you. No, no. <laughs> mm -hmm. This boy. boy is too fine. So he's causing a problem. I'm so sorry for keeping you waiting. I'm sorry. Yeah. Um, I forgive you. You do? For just this time. Ah, please. My manners. Um, waiter. Waiter, please, I'll talk about Thank you. Um, it's, it's so good to 
meet you officially in person. Okay, thank you. I'm sorry, my name is Timmy Ojoko. Timmy Ojoko. I'm a world trained businessman with an MBA. And you? I'm Chika. Tech analyst. Tech analyst. Oh. Um, I know you must have heard this a million times. Or oh, the billion times, actually. Um, you're very beautiful and endowed. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, yes. You're not going to do this thing. Well, I know you must have heard this so many times, even the billionth time. You're very beautiful and endowed. I'm sorry if that came out awkward. <laughs> I'm so sorry. No, no, it um, it actually means a lot to me. Really? Yeah. Sitting here in front of you, being able to stare in a man's eyes, watch him smile, and compliment me. You have no idea how therapeutic that feels to me. I may be smart, intelligent, and beautiful, like you say. But the truth is, I lack freedom. My dad would not let me look at anyone, let alone a man. Sometimes I wish I could just vanish. But where will I run to? He's my father, right? To me, I need a friend. Hey, I promise to be your friend. As long as you wish me to. Thank you. I think I like you. You do? Mm hmm. As a friend, I mean. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's a good start, anyways. Yeah. Uh, cheers. Yeah, sure. Cheers. Cheers to that, um, too. Friendship. Friendship. <laughs> Good evening, Dad. Where are you coming from? I've been calling your line, but you refused to pick. So I need you to tell me the truth. Where are you coming from? Dad. I told you I had something important to take care of. Right? You told me you have something important. What is it? I wasn't feeling well, so I went to the hospital. But it's nothing to worry about. It was just my monthly cramps. Mm. Yeah. And you never thought you should uh, let me in on it? Huh? Uh, moreover, we have a family doctor. Why do you have to meet another doctor for treatment? Dad, I'm an adult. In as much as you do not want to understand it, but I need my privacy. I mean, it's not everything I'll tell our family doctor. Well, it's all right. I just wanted to inform you that uh, I'll be away for three weeks. Mm. And 
You're going to lock me in again? Of course not. Well, in as much as uh, I would have really loved to, but um, I have a company to run and uh, who else can handle it in my absence, if not you? <laughs> sure. Come here. <laughs> Thank you, Daddy. It's all right. It's all right. It's all right. The monster has gone for a while. <laughs> He's indeed the slave driver. <laughs> you can say that again. <laughs> you know, sometimes I really wonder why he acts the way he does. Maybe it's tough love. He loves you in his own kind of way. <laughs> That's cool enough. But I want a different kind of love. I know the love from someone else. Someone like me. <laughs> um, we need to go home, right? My dad would be calling with the house line. He uses that to monitor all my movement. As you wish, my lady. <laughs> and tranquility. Hey. I want you to be part of my world. I promise you, just like you asked, I'll be your Prince Charming. For a puzzle? <laughs> At least to save you from the wizard. <laughs> He's not that bad. At last, I find a reason to be free. Reason to be free. I'm in love. I must be able to live my. Then why don't you just ask her out? Ask her out? Yes. And who is asking who out? Oh, mom. Yes. Mom, don't mind me. Mm -hmm. Mom, I think we have a wedding to plan soon. You don't yes. say? That's a good news. Mm -hmm. At least uh, someone will stop changing women as if he's changing his shorts. Mom. Mom, uh, mom I'm actually, am I that, I'm not that bad now, mom. Shots fired. Should I should I name them for you one by one? Oh wow. Wow, wow. Um, mom, that's in the past now. Mm. Mm -hmm. Good news, good news. At least I'm happy to hear that. Yes. May come and take me to the shop. I am really tired. Don't think I can drive. I, mean, I think my ear is pinning me. I don't know, but I just there's this um I say now. Mom, I have to I have to post something on my blog as I there's something I'm investigating. Me! Mom, my eye is paining me. Let me get my bag. And my ear is paining me, Mom. Even my throat! Okay. Okay. 
I'll just make this one thing. My father didn't let me have a social media account. Wait, you must be joking. No, oh, for real. <laughs> then get ready. I'm going to show you the world. That would be a difficult task for you. No, it's not. It's a privilege. At least I'm going to show an angel the world. He loved to flatter me, huh? Look into my eyes. Because it will come flattering you. You know, I'm beginning to get drawn into your world. I'm beginning to get connected to you. You're so good to me. I don't even know why. I just know when I saw you, something struck in me. I, I can see it in your eyes. What do you see? I see a beautiful woman who wants to explore the world. Mm. Who wants me to show her around. What if I want to be touched? Look, thank you so much. Thank you for coming into my life and filling up a vacuum. Thank you. been caged <laughs> and your wings clipped. Right. A caged bed indeed. You know, sometimes I feel like this is not real. Or maybe we're just doing this out of border. This is real, Chico. And sure real. <laughs> Me too. Hey. What? You erupted like a volcano. <laughs> like, she almost <laughs> tore me apart. <laughs> <laughs> what? I mean, I don't know what that means. Oh, really? Yeah. I don't know what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. mm. <laughs> Should I share you the details? No! You're so <laughs> nasty! <laughs> Come here. <laughs> Just who I was about to call. I got your meeting. I'm curious if it's something that happened. Girl, believe me when I say that your friend has found a redemption. Give me a chance. Sure, sure. I'm going to gist you everything in detail, son. Is it what I'm thinking? It's more than you're thinking. <laughs> All right. Okay, call you later after work. Right. <laughs> Dad? Hi. 
Good evening. Mm -hmm. I'm great. You okay? Mm -hmm. Well, um, I can see that someone is busy enjoying herself without me. Uh, please say that. <laughs> Come on, I'm, well, just, I'm just here. Yes. Chica, this is Sam. Okay. And uh, Sam, this is my daughter, Chica. The one I told you about. Okay? Uh, Chica, from today onwards, I demand, actually, that you and Sam will be best of friends. Okay. As a matter of fact, um, he is the man I approve for you. Right? <laughs> Dad. Yes. I thought we spoke about this before. Really? Remind me. Oh, sorry, my bad. I forgot. You told me that uh, you can't wait to see him. <laughs> now he's here with you. Okay? Eh? You, girl. Your dad told me a lot about you. Sam is not going to harm you. That young man belongs to the upper class in the society, which is where you belong. Dad, I do not care about his class. I am not interested. I don't want to have anything to do with him. Please. You are not about to disrespect me, are you? God, that it's not called disrespect. It's me taking a decision for myself and by myself. Now listen, young lady. That young man is the son of one of my major investors. Okay? You are going to marry him whether you like it or not. Is that clear? And if I don't? Oh. Then watch me. Watch me strip you of everything. Your car, your credit cards and everything that represents luxury to you. I try. Sometimes I can't understand. Why. <coughs> and even at this time, I'm unable to live my life. You know, as I was saying, love, it's always been a smooth ride for me. I have always had everything I wanted. My dad makes sure that he provides every single thing I wanted all the way. You know? Quite interesting. Yes, I know. Uh, you know, I was born with a silver spoon. And as I said earlier, my father, he loves me so much. Loves me so much, so he nev never, ever allowed me to lack throughout my life. Since I was growing up, and uh, there are a lot of women who have always thrown themselves at me. But I never liked them. Now we're here. So, if you have so many women wanting to be with you, why did you not choose any of them? Hmm? Well, I have to do what my dad wants. Firstly, 
And secondly, uh, you look different from the rest of them. Besides, I'm beginning to like you. Anybody? Hey, baby, you called me something urgent. Is there anything a problem? Yeah, no, right. Um, Who is this? Perfect. This is my boyfriend. So you see, I'm not lonely, okay? I'm in a relationship with him. Cool? You must be joking, right? No! Yo, man, this is my woman. And we'll be getting married in a short while. That's a lie. That's not true. He's not. Um. No. Uh, yes. It's. It's fine. I. I see you have good company. Hey. It's this. I need love. Someone to break me free. Let me out of this cage. You should even be thankful that I'm agreeing to fall in love with you. Thankful. Yes. And who told you I want to spend the rest of my life with a sport or trying to fool up and sell that What you are calling And if I don't? Hmm? You think I didn't know you're doing all this because of what you started to get from my dad? And so why are you doing it? Because I am being forced to you, dummy! You are not my type. I am no way attracted to you. Can't you see? Oh, I see what you're doing there. <laughs> I see what you're doing there. But I will not indulge you. If not for my dad, I will not even be involved with a one girl like you. Then get lost. Yes, when you stand here, get lost. I do not want to see you. Just go inside. Disgust me. Get out. Sir, enough. Chief, I am going out. Take your daughter. Take your daughter, or else I'm going to tell my father to give the 60 billion naira contract to someone else. I'm telling you this, Chief. Take your daughter. Listen, young man. Don't ever call this line again. If you ever call my daughter's line again, I will so deal with you ruthlessly. Dad. 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 Enough of all this. Why would you be talking to my friend in such manner? It's wrong. And why would you turn down the son of the biggest investor in my company and disobey my orders? If you know what is good for you, I will fix another date for both of you. And you must behave like the good daughter that I brought up. Is that understood? It is not my time. I try. Sometimes I can't understand why. That even at this time, I'm unable to live my life. As I should I need help Someone to claim my heart I need love Someone to break me free Let me out of this cage Out of this cage Let hey. me out of this cage Hey Okay, so I noticed you've been down since yesterday. What's wrong? T. Yes, thank you. You're welcome. Sit, sit. Hello. Hey, Ma. Good afternoon, Ma. God bless you, my daughter. How are you? I'm very well, Ma. Oh. <laughs> sit down, my dear. 
Thank you. I've heard so much about you. Same here. Ah, you're such a beautiful girl. Thank you, mommy. <laughs> Timmy. Mimi. T. Mom. Your guest is here. Might they feel at home, okay? Mm -hmm. Timmy, take good care of her, okay? I'll be on my way to the shop. Okay, ma'am. Right. Have a good day. Yeah, welcome. Okay, ma'am. Mm -hmm. Um, can I get you anything? Juice? No, I'm fine. Mm -hmm. Great, thank you. Okay. See, get that now. Hey. What are you doing here? Look, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry for yesterday. You're sorry? Calling me out to humiliate me in front of a boyfriend. No. He is not my boyfriend. I promise you. He's what are you even saying? He's not you even kissed him in front of me. I did not kiss him. He was there, he forced himself on me. My dad wants me to end up with that guy. But I won't. Why why is why is he trying to do that? You should be more after your happiness. Apparently, it's his way or his way. So, um, buddy, I um, I have decided to go on a date with him. Sam. Seriously? Uh huh. But no strings attached. Wow, that is my baby. <laughs> See, I don't have any problem with that. Okay. okay? I mean, for a start, hmm? with time you will discover that. Uh, Sam is the best man for you. And before you know it, you're married. Marriage? Oh, mm -hmm. come on, no. Let's just start with a date first. Cool? Well, that's fine by me. Okay. Okay. Um, ready for work? Yeah, sure. All set to go. Good. Let's go. Let's go. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> This is to say, I am sorry about the last time. My wish has to be a better part of it. It's okay. It's in the past now. Are you sure? Trust me. <laughs> hey, hey, baby. Hey, baby. This man again? Is this some kind of joke or what? Joke? No. On the contrary, you are the joker. I mean, you must be so stupid. To think that I want to spend the rest of my life with a selfish, materialistic, that is boring. Gets lost. Thank you. 
Humiliated me and called me names in front of everybody. I'm not going to take that. I won't. Sam, calm down. Hmm? Calm down. You can see that I've been dialing her line, but it's switched off. It's not reachable. Of course, Chief. Of course, her number will be switched off because she's probably with that loser, that stupid loser, and they're probably getting down as we speak. Oh, no. He dare not. He did not do that rubbish with my daughter. Or we rip him apart. Yo, Chief, I think you should plan on doing that as soon as possible. I'm out. <laughs> that was one hell of a drama. I know, I know. But hey, I, I wish this was our reality. You know, I would have just... Um, Taking you swiftly away. Yeah, we would have gone so far away. I mean, to stay together in solitude. Away yeah. from my father, of course. The guy is gone. But I don't care about him right now. All I want is to be by his side. <laughs> Ada, come here. Do you know the whereabouts of that young man that Chika is going out with? No, sir. I've never seen Madame Chika with any man before. Get out! Idiot! This is actually the first time I'm disrespecting my dad. And I'm scared. Look, it's one thing to disrespect your father. And it's another thing to show him you can't condone his excesses. I'm sure he will be so upset right now. <laughs> yes, he will. Okay. You have to face him. Okay? It's either now or later. So it's either you face him or you face the consequences. So, you have the guts to disrespect me, right? What do you expect? You pushed me to the world, Dad. I cannot continue to live like a prisoner all my life. No! I can say that you've developed extra tongue. You have the temerity to bring a man to my house, right? I am talking to you! Answer me! Or what? 
you will continue to lock me in till I reach my monopause? That I have no privacy. To the extent of you, you keeping a hidden camera to monitor my movements, that is the height of it. That you keep quiet! How dare you raise your voice at me? And what is this that I'm hearing? That that stupid boy engaged you? It was a prank. A prank to keep that silly sports brat off my case. It's alright. I'm happy it was a prank. You have to stop seeing that boy. No. You cannot make me stop that. You dare me, right? No, you dare me! Dare me and you see what I can do! Okay? That boy does not deserve you! He's only trying to use you! You're wrong about that, sir. How dare you come into my house? Huh? Now let me warn you. I don't want to see you any age close to my daughter again. Even though you will see the other side of me. You are all gold diggers. You're wrong when you see that, sir. Come on! Dad! This is not going to stop me from loving your daughter. You are still talking! Now get out of my house! Out! Down! Out! Don't stop me! Don't stop me! Don't stop me! Don't stop me! Imagine the, the nerves he had to do this to my son. Eh? Is it because he thinks your father is no more? He can do whatever he wants to you. Can you imagine this? Mom, don't worry. I can handle this. You will handle what? It, this could have been worse. You know what? I think you should just leave that game alone. Exactly. Eh? You're not even married to her yet. And her father has shown that you're not welcome. Yeah, my mom, no, mom, it's okay. I already said it's not it's not something I can handle. I'll handle it. Besides, don't put your bottom, it doesn't concern you. Where are you coming from me? This boy is like this boy has lost his senses. So. Eh? It's everybody's business. If either of us is hot in this house. Yes. Eh? That's what I will not allow. I won't allow anybody to hurt any of you. See, Timmy, leave that girl alone. Yes. Leave her alone. I'm sorry. You know I will never hit you. No. I don't know you anymore. Sometimes when I look at you, I see a total stranger. <laughs> You're not the man I used to know. You're not. I am still your dad. I know. <laughs> but you make me so scared of you, dad. It's so unfair. <laughs> you will not see that boy anymore. I'm saying this for his own good. And for your own good also. I love him. I love him so very much, Dad. Please. Love is not everything that matters. 
that boy is going to hurt you. And the earlier you know that, the better for you. As for Sam, I know how to handle him. Should he try anything stupid? I am not going to discuss this anymore. I'm done with this discussion. I try. <laughs> Sometimes I can't understand why. But even at this time, I am able to live my life as I should. I need help, someone to clear. You need to do something fast. You need to be smart about this whole thing. Except for, of course, you want to end up with that guy. God forbid. I'd rather stay lonely all my life than to be with that idiot. Then act now. What do you mean act? How? Escape. Like, run away? Yes, run away, do anything, escape, just leave this place. Abby, have you gone nuts? I can't. Me running away is like losing everything I have ever worked for. Everything you've ever worked for that is attached to your dad's name? Come on, girl. You're a first class guru and you can walk anywhere in the world. Eh? And you build your own empire on your own terms. Abby, this is reality and not some romantic comedy. You'll never know until you try. Good day, sir. Welcome. Is there anyone else in this room apart from two of you? No. You need to escape, you need to leave this place. She wants you guys to run off to a faraway land and live happily ever after. Look, Meg, you know this is between you and I, right? I know. I just think it's not the right thing to do. I love her. I love her so much. I'm, I feel obliged to save her. Then have a conversation with her father. Obviously he doesn't like me. He doesn't even want any other guy coming close to, the, to her. Except for one some guy, which obviously is for some um, selfish reason or something. I just feel I'm um, her last resort and I have to do something. See, you want to leave your business, your warehouse, you want to leave me and me, no. your family. It's not for a long time. It's not for a long time. Look, I believe if we do this, this man is going to come to his senses. He has to realize that our freedom is, is important. Even if we don't end up being together. Which is gonna break me, which is gonna break my heart. Our freedom will be my happiness. You're kind. <laughs> well, you know what? We need to start going because mom is going to worry. She know. sent us on an errand. I know, I know. Sure, let's go.
Sometimes I can't understand why That even at this time I'm unable to live my life As I should I need love, someone to claim my heart I need love, someone to break me free Let me out of this cage Nice. Chica. Yes. I am. I am very happy that you have finally decided to be mine. <laughs> my father, my dad, will be so proud of you. Mm -hmm. mm. It's not so bad. Deal with a dad's boy after all, right? <laughs> you can say that again. A toast. Okay. To us. To us. Yeah. To us. To us. You like it? Ah. Awesome. I do. Mm. Mm. It's nice. Glad so. You do. Mm. Um, a toast. Again. Again. To us. <laughs> okay. You okay? Yeah, yeah, I think so. I'm, I'm fine. Cool. I'm fine. <laughs> I'm just... I'm just um, uh, Overwhelmed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. Uh, to be somewhere now. Is everything okay? Yeah. I hope it's not about that girl again. It's not about that girl. See you soon. Chico. Chico, look. I don't think this is the right thing to do. To me, I don't want to spend a day in the house again. I want to be free. I know, trust me. But... But what? You don't love me enough. Why would you, why would you say that? Why would you ever doubt that? Chica, I have never felt this way before. Never. Wanting to leave my life behind. Just to take you away from here. Keep you safe for your happiness. I want to be close to you. I want you in my life. But far away from my father. Please. 
If you love me, then help me do this. What happened to me? What happened? What is Chica? I should be asking you that, Chief. I should be asking you that question, Chief. Your daughter leads to my drink and probably has left with her lover. That is impossible. Wait to. Dad? I brought this for you. Do your favorite wine. What are we celebrating? Nothing. I just want you to know that I love you so very much. Uh, and absolutely no one or anything can come between us. Okay? And I love you for this. That's my kid's toast. Cheers. Cheers. Mm -hmm. This is nice. It's your favorite. Uh, Drink all of it, Dad. <laughs> You know what? What? You know how to steal my heart. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so. So, uh, what's going on? Well, I was looking at my WhatsApp. Okay. Reading my posts and all that. Okay. <laughs> Alright, Papa, I'll, I'll be inside. It's alright. Okay. You sure you don't want more wine? No, 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 I'm cool, I'm cool. Okay. I'm gonna take this. I ain't gonna take this no more, Chief. Uh, Sam, you have to calm down, okay? Calm down. I am going to tell my father to end the deal with you. Ah, come on, Sam. It hasn't got into that, okay? Uh, Chica will. I have had it up to here! I've had it up to here, Chief. And if that means that I'm not going to get the deal from my father, then so be it. So be it. Uh, Sam, look, your father wants you and Chica to be together as husband and wife. Well, Chief, that is because my father believes that Chica is a homely and responsible girl and he wants me to show that I'm responsible by settling down with her. But Chief, newsflash, Chief, your daughter is a conniving witch and I'm not going to let her disrespect me no more. No more, so I'm out and that's it. Ada? Ada? Yes, sir. Where is Chica? She told me she was going out, but didn't tell me where she was going to. But she carried a bag that looks like she's traveling.
Yeah, black. Listen to me carefully. I want you to trace Chica's car. Okay? Yes, tell me her location immediately. That's not all. I will send you a photo now. Get me the address of the person in that photo and let me get it within the next one hour. Good. Get to work. Wait a minute. Let him come and help me and vet these figures. Mom. Yes? You won't believe what I just found out. What is that? Okay, so you know I've been investigating and researching on a particular case. Yes? What about it? So apparently, the man killed his brother. Mister, good afternoon and who are you? Do I know you? Mister, I'm talking to you. Who are you and what do you want? So, you are the mother of that useless boy who is planning to ruin my daughter's life. How dare you walk into my house and call my son useless? The next time you walk into my house and mention such careless insult about my son, I won't be held responsible for what happens. What do you want? Where is he hiding my daughter? Oh. You mean you're a prisoner? <laughs> you don't even deserve that girl. How dare you? Watch your tongue, woman. What is that watch? Hmm? What is that watch? Because the girl is different and compassionate. You, on the other hand, are a ruthless and inhuman person. Devoid of love. I want you to watch your tongue. Where is your son? I my like daughter. What? Don't you dare! Let this be the last time you lay your hands on my mother, you criminal, you killer! What did you just call me? Are you not a killer? It's only a killer that will come into someone's house uninvited just to make threats. I am happy that your subconscious mind is aware of what I can do. Boys! You know what to do. who you are dealing with, this little boy. You think I came this far to let someone to take away the only thing that matters to me in this world? If you think so, then you have another thing coming. Hmm. I will crush you to pieces.
It's okay. You're safe here. I know. Hey, I want to tell you something. What's that? You remember the fake engagement? Supposed to be your gift. The gift I have told you. But now I'm selling it and everything else. And you, you are coming with me. We are leaving this country. If you ever think that you can slip off my fingers and run away, uh, you have another thing coming. Please, Dad. I just want to be free. I just want to be able to live my life, I beg you. Oh, Chica. I am your life. I mean... How could you ever conceive the idea of living life without me? Huh? Ah, come on. It will be over my dead body. For anyone to come between us or destroy what I've built over the years. You are stuck. Dad. Dad, I don't recognize you anymore. You're my father. And you point a gun at my face. Dad, please. Dad, please, I beg you. Shut up! Shut up! <laughs> Can a father do this to his own daughter? I am not your father. What's that? I am supposed to be your father, but I'm not. Just stop. I'm tired of your jokes already. Just enough. To the quiet! I want to shut up! No. That's not true. My brother. My brother that I love so much. He was part of me. And I was part of him. What a betrayer. He slept with my woman. He slept with your mother, Brenda. I was 18 and I fell in love with Brenda. I 
loved her so much. She was the love of my life. One day, I caught him. That is Chiki, your father, making love to my Brenda. I couldn't hold back. In as much as I loved him so much, it was unbearable. I hit him so hard that he died. I I forced your mother with a knife. She helped me to bury my brother. Knowing that she could. She could spill the beans. I threatened her that if she talked, I wasn't afraid of death. She would go to prison for life. I told her I hired a photographer who recorded us while we were burying your father. I couldn't live with the guilt. I found out that your mother was pregnant. Somehow, I knew that that pregnancy was not for me. But I lived a lie. Well, we lived in a village for a while. <laughs> I decided that we we moved to the city so that <laughs> there will be no incident of people knowing the truth. Providence smiled on me and I made money. After your birth, I continued to live a lie that you were my daughter. At a point, I decided to carry out a DNA test for you. And it turned out that I was your uncle. I was scared that I would not be able to love you, thinking that you will look like my brother. But growing up, you, you became a replica of your mother. Somehow, your mother died. I was a bit relieved thinking that I can continue to live the lie. <sighs> well, 
I decided to live my life for you. Particularly when I discovered that I was terrified. There was no way I could give birth to a child. And I vowed. I vowed to sacrifice my life for you. When Please let us go. Let us go. You cannot continue holding us against our will. This is against our rights. Please let us go. Please don't hurt my son. Please put a call to your boss and tell him not to hold my son to me, please. I promise if he releases my son, we will not come anywhere close to that girl again. Please. Please. <laughs> Let us go! Let us go! <coughs> Don't you have mothers? Don't you have sisters? What is this? <laughs> Stop talking to them like that. So they won't prevent them. They won't me. Please. I cannot afford to lose any of you. Please. No, no, okay. Not what happened to us. Stop crying. Stop crying. <laughs> You were the only one who really ever loved me wholeheartedly. Your father and mother never did. They hurt me so badly. Chica. I'm sorry. Truly sorry. Please. Come with me. Let's go away. Everything about you. I will never go anywhere with you. I hate you so much. You disgust me. You are a monster. And I will make you pay. I will make you pay for killing my father. I will make you pay for all the pains that you made my mother pass through. I will make you pay for ruining my life. Shut up! Shut up! Thank you. 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 Thank you.
Am I a stranger in this house? Thank you, thank you. I didn't know we're in danger. What's up? Your brother called me, he was in danger, so I had to clean from the police. Oh, 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 in this room until you come back to your senses. If you want to ease yourself, use the toilet. If you need any food, it will be brought to you here. But you will remain here until you think reasonably and come over with me. Idiot. I try, sometimes I can't understand why That even at this time, I'm unable to live my life as I should I need help Someone to claim my heart I need love Someone to break me free Let me out of this cage Out of this cage Let me out of this cage Out of this cage I find a reason to be free. Reason to be free. I'm in love. I must be able to live my life as I should. I found help, someone to claim my heart. I found love, someone to break me free. Let me out of this cage. Okay. 